Hey, what's going on there YouTube? This is SEL0320 representing JVS. I'm back again, uh, not for a review, not for a live discussion, not even for an open discussion. This is actually just me asking y'all's input and also having a pretty serious conversation. Um, one that I kind of wasn't necessarily going to try to have, uh, but I've seen enough people, um, let's see, Black Comic Guy, uh, Chris Stockman, the list goes on and on and on. Um, and it's related to um, the copyright and the fair usage clause that has been in implementation since even before I even started making content on YouTube. But before I get into all the logistics stuff, I wanted to ask y'all about my live discussions. Uh, well, not even my live discussions, but my reactions. So essentially, with reactions that I've been trying to do, um, I've done reactions for Flash, Arrow, The Walking Dead, The Vampire Diaries, and I think that's it. Sometimes I might do some other stuff, but generally, most of the time, I'll try to put like certain specific clips for certain epic episodes, and then I'll try to move them together, and I'll just, you know, upload it. Um, but what I've been having, and that's where this kind of falls into, is whether y'all know it or not, like every single time that I actually try to do like a reaction, like even if it's just the fair uses of just this one specific scene and it's about what, I guess 20 minutes or 15 minutes specifically, instead of like a whole hour of an actual episode, I, it's been blocked. And um, like I think the last one that happened to was the Vampire Diaries episode and it was like only 15 minutes. And it's weird because um, I've seen other YouTubers uh, react to it and actually show the video and everything and their content doesn't get pulled down, okay? Um, the question I have for y'all is to uh, keep that from happening is maybe what we can do is do like a live reaction. So while the episode is actually going on, fortunately y'all won't see any video at all, but y'all will be able to get my instant reaction to it. I know that's what me and Jarrell have had to do in certain cases, uh, but then even with that I've seen certain things have kind of gone down the drain pipe unfortunately. And that's where I want to kind of get into this. But I really want y'all's input in verifying if y'all think that maybe um, doing like a live reaction while the episode's going on without any video, if that's adequate enough for y'all. Because the whole thing is the content that I create, I don't necessarily create it for me. I create it for y'all. Um, I, I listen to y'all's feedback, y'all's assessments of how I do stuff, what we do. And it seems like time, I don't want to just keep doing the same exact thing. I want to be able to elevate the channel for y'all because y'all like family to me. So... That's the thing that I really wanted to go into, and I'm about to go into a second. I might have to pause for a quick second because I think that uh, my flash drive is filling up. So if you kind of see like this weird blush, that's the reason why. But here we go talking about um, my whole outlook on the whole copyright thing so y'all can get my personal input on my experience to it. So my experience with copyright, fair usage, and YouTube in general, okay? Long story short, when I first was a humble YouTuber, back, shoot, I guess, before I even started doing reviews, what I used to do, to be quite honest with you, I used to actually do dances. Like, I actually did dance videos with my local campus ministry in North Carolina, back when I used to live in North Carolina. As well as, I loved the editing process. So I took, like, certain videos, like, I think I had, like, Passion of Christ, uh, Left Behind series, and I mashed music with the video, and I made my own AMVs, essentially, because I was overtaken by the process of actually making the AMVs. I thought oh, they were so cool, and I'm the type of person that loves to, you know, push the envelope when it comes to the editing or the creative arts in general, right? And so I made, like, maybe like five, six, seven, right? I'd upload them one by one. They'd be short, small clips here or there. Sometimes I'd add certain dialogue. Sometimes I'd add com complex music sections to it. And you know what happened to every single one of those? I got not only <laughs> them blocked, but they were basically instant strikes for me. So back then, like it was like I was literally sucked from any kind of creative process of thinking that I could put anything of substance and, and, and vigor on YouTube. Like it was very discouraging. Um, and I was, I was like, man, this is what I love to do. Like, I love making these videos. I was even one of the first films I actually started working on was the actual dance film. And that movie, you can't even see it because it's still blocked. And I think I actually got a strike for that. I've had multiple strikes in the past 
the whole thought process of even like making money from YouTube was never even in my thought process. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew that the whole realization of monetization, I was like, I, I thought, shoot, you had to go like be in like a, uh, a thousand subscribers deep to even think about even doing that first. But for me, I just wanted to share my content because I knew there were lovers of film out there like me. And basically what happened was I just got really sucked in. Thankfully, people like CK61938, um, Jeremy Johns, they started talking about their love for film. And I was like, you know what? I used to work at Blockbuster a long time ago. Like I used to talk with people on the regular. I was like, let me see if I can do this camera thing. Back then, you would not catch me in the middle of an actual camera. Like I just, that wouldn't be me, you know? And eventually I just learned to love it. I learned to communicate it just like I would communicate with another person because I knew that the output and the feedback y'all were giving me were reminiscent of the same exact resolve that I would do when I was normally doing it. So I was like, you know what, all right, I'll just try to do this movie review thing, right? And I was thinking there was not gonna be any problems with that. So I started, the first time the videos that I started doing, I would add like small little clips here and there, little like pictures. And you know what happened in those videos? Those got, strikes as well <laughs> and I was I didn't have any subscribers y'all we had no subscribers this is even before me and Joe formulated it's being JBS initially it was like SEL 0320 and um there was nothing that I could do and um I just kind of just took it you know I would kind of sometimes I would do like a uh the little school or whatever and I would kind of roll with the punches and try to like dispute what I could but I knew ultimately there was nothing that I could do it wasn't until like maybe what three or four years ago that I actually started making content and I realized, you know what, I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing. Somebody told me, look, like, uh, so, like, y'all are doing such great work. Like, you seem like you have a love for it. Try to do the modernization and see if your account's still in good standing. I, I remember back in the clause said, if you get at least three to two or whatever strikes, you would never be able to get in good standing. It was a lot. Eventually, my account got in good standing, and it's been in good standing for a long period of time. Now, in between that time, which was around, let's shoot, 2010, maybe, that was when I instantly started doing modernization. I didn't do that for money. I worked full-time. I'm a full-time IT expert, and I, that is what my, my income and my source comes from. But um, I was thinking to myself, like, if I can, you know, upgrade the camera or be able to add content or add a green screen or whatever, then, yeah, that would be great because that would be something that's a source of income to be able to supplement that so that as for the fans it's not for me and not just that it's not enough money to even do even that and especially if you got one video this you know is doing nothing so i uh, eventually got the ability to do the modernization process and that's been great you know and it's been elevated over time but it's still nowhere near enough to actually you know make a living for me it's just been used to uh help out the channel in, in, in the long term i even told joe like the way we split it like, we use it, the distribution of helping out with, like, contests and stuff that's going on. And it's been, it's been good in that regard. But there's a lot of videos, even today, that get blocked. Or they get um, some kind of thing that'll say, you cannot modernize the video. Most of the time, there are times I really don't even modernize videos. There's times where, like, I'll do a reaction for, like, Batman vs. Superman, right? Or I'll do, like, a, a reaction to, like, a TV show or something. I never even try to click the modernization, but I still get the hit and the ping because from the distributor standpoint, like if it's Warner Brothers, if it's AMC or whatever, they will say, you are, you know, you're promoting this, but we're going to put our ads up there to get money back for it, which, I mean, that's fine. And that's, that's, that's to me, I thought that that was, you know, that's fine. I just accepted it. But I'm understanding, listen to these other YouTubers, that's not necessarily right. Because in the sense that if I'm taking something that I'm making full commentary on, I'm not just putting up the video just for people to actually watch on a regular basis, that I have a real input and an excerpt that I want to talk about it, then it's a, in a sense fair use. But um, I, I, I will take my punches in the sense that um, I know of three different instances for me personally um, that I put way too much up there. I think that The Walking Dead, No Way Out, that was my first time ever live streaming with uh, a Walking Dead episode, I was so on the fence, I was like, man, this might like hurt the channel, this might get a strike, whatever. The only reason why I tried that, and you can actually look right here, I've seen other YouTubers in a specific site, a specific channel, that they literally, all they do is actually upload the entire video and actually react to it. I was like, okay, AMC's not giving them, I said, yeah, I waited and I watched, and I was like, you know what, today will be the day, this will be an anticipated episode, and sure enough, it was a great experience. 
But even now, I can go in my comment stream, people are like, oh, you're doing this, oh, that's terrible. That was, I mean, before that even happened, for the channel's sake and for my integrity's sake, I made a video saying, look, I won't do this anymore. Because I did this with One Punch Man as well. And then I think there was uh, the Flash episode. But that was even on a live stream. That's why I was thinking, man, maybe we could maybe do that. But either way, that's not my intent to give everybody a full episode or take any away from WB, AMC, or whatever. But they're still taking stuff away from me, even if I go and use the small clips for it. And even that... This is this is a real sad thing is that there's a lot of reviews that I actually do that use small clips without any audio They might use like smart certain pictures or video those still get dinged like that So a lot of the videos if I make throughout this week 20 videos Probably about 80% of those will get hit with you cannot mock none. So no, I can't make I don't really even make any like purpose modernization for our channel at all. There is a few and far between. That's why um, when we do like uh, even live discussions or whatever, sometimes that can get even hit because I'm gonna tell you something that was so wrong um, that happened. And I don't only mean to rant, but I want to let y'all know my humble beginnings and like to be able to communicate with those that have an issue with certain videos that I've done or, you know, adding certain things or even those that have been begging me to put full episodes, I would love to be able to do something like that. But I, I just, I, in a integrity integr standpoint, I don't feel that's right necessarily. And at the same time, I can't. And then for those that have an issue with saying that I am, there are others that are doing the same exact thing, but doing it even more than me. And so I just want to be able to let y'all know, like, yeah, I am looking at what y'all are saying. I do care about what y'all are saying. Um, but in the sense that there's nothing that I can even really truly do either way. And so the thing that happened is me and Jarrell, Jarrell was doing a live stream on the Oscars. I was doing a video, a live stream myself with this video camera right here. And we, we posted our reaction to um, Chris Rock's mo uh, montage, right? And it got blocked worldwide. For his communication online. And I was like, I looked at the the, the person that did the complaint. Because I was like, okay, well, maybe I can dispute it. It said Disney. It's like, Disney owns Chris Rock's voice? That's wrong, bro. It's so wrong. Me and Jarrell, we still have yet to even really talk about it. But this is another instance of a situation. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what I'm thinking is that, which is either going to be a good thing or a bad thing, is that what we can do long term, all y'all fans of the reactions that we do, if you're not, it's understandable, it's fine. You're still here in my heart with this. Um, <clears throat> maybe we can do like live streams of The Walking Dead. I can still try to do certain things with um, The Vampire Diaries or anything WB related, but WB TV are the things that are hitting back with that. And the weird thing is with the actual uh, Walking Dead, it's not AMC. There's a YouTube channel that's calling themselves Shop AMC. That is not even, I looked it up, this is not even AMC. They are taking episodes and charging people for these episodes when they don't even own the rights to the episodes. And it's wrong. That's, I looked it up, I was like, they're the ones that are hitting back and saying that, you know, this is my material, but then it's not even AMC. But I, I don't want to put this channel in jeopardy. I don't want to put Joe in jeopardy. I don't want to put y'all as viewers in jeopardy of not being able to see us because I, I do care about this channel. But at the same exact time, I don't make <laughs> necessarily the kind of money that I live off of this. It's actually all to self-fund the, the, the videos. And at the same exact time, anything that kind of comes up, I won't do it unless I see somebody else has even tried to do it in a certain capacity. And at the same exact time, I want to take to value the things that y'all are asking us to do. And that's what I really care about more than anything. I would love to do certain things and be able to make certain things creatively that YouTube will not allow me to do. And that's the reason why, like all honesty, I've been so torn with buying a $1.99 subscription to Vimeo Plus. And I think that I might actually start doing that so I can actually be able to put my reactions up there. Like, and be able to do it that way. And not have to worry about it. And anything creative or moves that we actually have to make because in the long term, we won't be able to do this on YouTube unless, th unless things change. And I don't know what we can really do about it, but I also know that like, other people have said that it's important to raise your voice and awareness about it. There are YouTubers out there that are getting their channels deleted. There are people out there getting strikes. 
thank God, praise the Lord, that we're not getting like strikes that are sticking. And at the same time, we're sticking in good standing, even when stuff kind of hits like the fan like that. And what we'll do is this will be deleted, or at the same exact time, we won't dispute it because it's not worth it in the long term. But either way, I just want to give you all this insight from what's going on with JVS as far as our thought process on fair use and copyright. There are certain elements that are not rights, but at the same exact time, we live by integrity in the things that we do, and we care about y'all's perspective on us, and at the same exact time, we want to do what's right by YouTube and by y'all. And so it's a fine line, but at the same, there are some things that are not right in the way that YouTube are treating certain YouTubers as well as I've lived through it. <laughs> so thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully this wasn't too much or too cumbersome. I just want to give you all my thoughts. This is JVS. We ain't gonna stop. Much love to y'all. God bless. Talk to y'all soon. Uh, to add in insult to injury, I just wanted to show y'all this. Yeah, this YouTuber, um, for whatever reason, decided he wanted to copy all of my videos. And I mean, what makes matters so bad is the fact that these are my videos, but he doesn't seem to have any problem with any of these getting blocked. Um, some of the videos he even has up here, like they're blocked in other countries for me. But yeah, he's able to put this up. Uh, if you see this YouTuber's name right here, I don't even know how to pronounce it, please, if you can, report him because um, I've actually already um, pushed in, I think, five different claims. And the process was so rigorous. And that's just per video. And it's crazy because I, I try to go and click block. Watch what happens or report. Nothing. Not one thing. And YouTube didn't do one thing about it. It's so bad. Uh, there's nothing that I can do about it and he's just gonna keep on taking my videos and he did this all four days ago in one day So you can only imagine how that made me feel. I just want to let y'all know about it um, I'll talk to y'all soon